Hello everyone, today I'm gonna tell you guys about Ronald Reagan. At the end of his two terms in office, Ronald Reagan viewed with satisfaction the achievement of his innovative program, known as the Reagan Revolution, which aimed to reinvigorate the American people and reduce their reliance upon government. He felt he had fulfilled his campaign pledge of 1980 to restore the great confidence roar of American progress and growth and optimism. On February 6, 1911, Ronald Wilson Reagan was born to Nella and John Reagan in Tampico, Illinois. He attended his way through Euroca College. There, he studied economics and sociology played on the football team and acted in school plays. Upon graduation, he became a radio sports announcer. A screen test in 1937 won him a contract in Hollywood. During the next two decades, he appeared in 53 films. From his first marriage to actress Jane Wayman, he had two children, Maureen and Mitchell. Maureen passed away in 2001. In 1952, he married Nancy Davis, who was also an actress, and they had two children, Patricia Ann and Ronald Prescott. As president of the Seven Screen Actors Guild, Reagan became embroiled in disputes over the issue of communism in the film industry. His political views shifted from liberal to conservative. He toured the country as a television host, becoming a spokesman for conservatism. conservatism. In 1966, he was elected governor of California by a margin of a million votes. He was re-elected in 1970. Ronald Reagan won the Republican presidential nomination in 1980 and chose as his running mate former Texas congressman and United Nations Ambassador George Bush. Voters troubled by inflation and by the year-long confinement of Americans in Iran swept the Republican ticket into office. Reagan won 489 electoral votes to 49 for President Jimmy Carter. On January 20, 1981, Reagan took office. Only 69 days later, he was shot by a would-be assassin, but quickly recovered and returned to duty. His grace and wit during the dangerous incident caused his popularity to soar. Dealing skillfully with Congress, Reagan obtained legislation to stimulate economic growth, curb inflation, increase employment, and strengthen national defense. He embarked upon a course of cutting taxes and government expenditures, refusing to divide from it when the strengthening of defense forces led to a large deficit. A renewal of national self-confidence by 1984 helped Reagan and Bush win a second term with an unprecedented number of electoral votes. Their victory turned away Democratic challengers Walter F. Mondale and Geraldine Ferraro. In 1986, Reagan obtained an overhaul of the economic tax code, which eliminated many dedications and exemptions millions of people with low incomes. At the end of his administration, the nation was enjoying its longest recorded period of a peacetime, prosperity without recession or dispersion. In foreign policy, Reagan sought to achieve peace through strength. During his two terms, he increased defense spending 35%, but sought to improve relations with the Soviet Union. In dramatic meetings with Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev, he no negotiated a treaty that would eliminate intermediate-range nuclear missiles.